Assalamu alaikum friends, uh, today I'm here with the, the mayor of Oldham, Honorable Respected Sir Fida Hussain. Uh, he is going to give a review on my uh, first book which was published last year in 2014. And uh, he was also uh, the chief guest at the opening ceremony of the book, The Immigrant. And uh, today he is uh, giving a brief review about uh, life being abroad, how, how difficult life is, what are the barriers and uh, how people migrate from one country to another and how they become successful because he is a successful uh, Muslim British Pakistani uh, uh, politician today and uh, he is holding a very high uh, place in the society as uh, being as a mayor of Oldham. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh... Kashif, and it's an honor uh, being interviewed by a young man uh, who is an author of a book, and I believe he's done a number of other books. So let me congratulate uh, Kashif Thank you on so his much. fantastic achievements. Thank you uh, so much. And I, very briefly, I will share my own story with you. And uh, the story is it started back in 1969 when I came to UK as a young boy at the age of six and uh, it was difficult, my father was already here, I came with my mother and my two siblings to join my father who was uh, working in cotton industry. Now it was even difficult for my father to leave us in Pakistan and come over just to make my life, my mother's life and our uh, brothers and sisters life easy for us. So, but he took that uh, step and it was a huge step at the time. Uh, in mid 60s. Things were not as easy as they are today as you see them. Uh, but we joined in 1969 and when I came over obviously there was language barrier and uh, not just for myself and my mother and my other brothers and sisters too. Uh, whilst my father was in England and uh, language was the first problem that we had here and there were not as many people here as we see today and there were quite a number of uh, families in the area but language was the first barrier that we uh, seen and experienced here. However, uh, I went to a local school. I went to a local school, uh, starting from three or junior school, on to secondary school, then on to college, and then on to university. Uh, as time went by, the population of Pakistan and Kashmir increased and increased, and it's come to a stage where today uh, we've got over 40,000 people from South Asia both Kashmir, Pakistan, Bangladesh and India likewise uh, and uh, I, I think we should be embracing Britain here because I being a British Pakistani, a British Muslim, I'm proud to call myself a Muslim uh, I've got every movement that I wish to make, I can say what I want, I've got freedom of expression, freedom of speech here in the UK but there are some limitations I suppose I can uh, must point out uh, but the difficulties that we are facing here today is uh, the issues with uh, terrorism, extremism, Islamophobia, them are the issues that I think we need to all to get together and take on. May Thank I you. ask you one question, sir? How easy or difficult it was for you to adjust yourself in this culture, in the community, in the society while having many barriers uh, where the language was the major barrier for you and uh, your family? I, I, I suppose, uh, and I already said that, the language was the first barrier, uh, but being young, uh, young age, I, I think I, I, I'm a quick learner and I learned uh, pretty rapidly and uh, I became helping hand within my own community. Do you, do you enjoy being the mayor of the city uh, today? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I think being the first citizen of uh, any town, uh, uh, it's a wonderful experience. Would you like to share some feelings uh, since uh, when, you, when you look at, at your own life uh, while being an immigrant from abroad and living in the United Kingdom and today the mayor of the whole city of the uh, Old Dam uh, uh, and uh, representing uh, over 30,000 population in, in, in your area. Uh, when you're looking at your graph of life, uh, like you've been migrated and that time was many difficulties, many barriers and today you have recovered many of those, you have, uh, uh, I can say, uh, enhanced everything uh, in your understanding. Uh, how do you s compare it today and uh, the time you've been migrated, you was migrated? 
Well, I feel humbled. I feel humbled and uh, uh, really pleased that God has given me this opportunity in uh, helping those people that are in, my, in need of my help. Back in the 70s when I was young, and I said this, this is the third time I'm saying it, uh, there were difficulties and body of language was the first one. But I, I, I think there were people, there were more helpful people than, than they are today. Uh, today we've got a large population, and it's not just 30,000. I've got a population of just under a quarter of a million people here. In Oldham? In Oldham, in Oldham. yes. And I feel proud uh, that I've been elected. I was, I was specific on Asian community, my apologies. 30,000 population from the Asian community. Uh, I would like to have my last question. Uh, being the mayor of the city, uh, always busy in uh, many community engagements and helping every time to the uh, to the community. Doesn't matter which community, Asian, English, and African, and uh, uh, representing uh, them in the council in Oldham. Uh, what would be your message to all those who start their life uh, uh, from zero with the uh, without family, without friends, and unlimited barriers at the airport when they migrate and uh, especially those who, who don't have family abroad? Well, my answer to that would be, again, just under a quarter of a million population here. Early times when uh, people came and settled into any country, any nation, and there were difficulties because there were not many families already there. But today, say someone came from Kashmir, Pakistan, they would land in Manchester, and as soon as they've landed in Manchester, they would feel at home. Because of the uh, 175,000, it, it is, it is, it is, this is so all the difficulties of Manna. Yeah. Today they feel this is another part of Meepur, this is another part of Atak. Yeah, yeah, it so, is look like a Pakistan, mini Pakistan in Manchester absolutely. and in the surrounding areas. But my specific message for those who have nobody here, uh, people like me, when I come here, I have no one here. Even I have people, but uh, not close ones from far, far from family or, you know, family relatives. But people like me who start their life with zero, without family, without friends, how, what would you like to say to them, how they can cope in today's life and how they can reach to their goals or targets for their life? I think you've done pretty well, having no family members here in the UK. But I'm sure you must have been welcomed by whichever part of... Uh, I've, been, I've been welcomed by all yeah. communities and absolutely, everybody. Absolutely. Whichever, we're very fortunate, especially here in Oldham. I think I've got a very diverse uh, community, community here. And uh, we've got people from so many different nationalities, Chinese, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Bosch, Europeans, we've got so many, it's a rich, diverse community, uh, community in Oldham in in and they are so warm welcome and as a mayor I can go places where I've not been uh, as a councillor and I've seen that the warm, the embrace that they give you, the people of Oldham is wonderful. I think it's the north west uh, flavour of water that makes them and so warm. Uh, I would like to thank the honourable and respected uh, uh, Mayor of Oldham, Sir Fida Hussain, for their valuable time uh, for this beautiful review on my book, uh, uh, the first book, and uh, I'm hoping he will attend the uh, book review event on the 11th of April 2015 at Longsight Library, Manchester. And he would be also the chief guest for my next book, which is Miran One Pakistan, a history book about the Pakistan. Thank you so much, sir, once again. I look forward to that. Thank, Thank you. you.